Hello and welcome again to my study on this Wednesday morning. Well, what a weekend we've had. Another three-day weekend as well. But it was amazing, wasn't it? We really do well these amazing state occasions in this country. The coronation of the King and Queen, the only coronation most of us would have seen, we might have seen the last one. There are even some people alive who remember the 1936 coronation. I want you to know, not me. I'm not that quite that old. But I do remember the coronation of the Queen and my abiding memory of that is grey and black and white because of course everything was in black and white in those days. And I think overall at this weekend, my abiding memory will be of colour of the amazing colours in the Abbey, of the gold put on the King and the reds and just bright colours throughout. A mark perhaps of how the country has changed from just after the war when our late Queen was crowned before. But amazing things, all those soldiers, those forces, all through Five hours of standing in the rain and then still all together throwing their hats in the air to wel welcome the King and Queen. Quite incredible. And then the concert on Sunday night. I don't know if you watched it, but for me that was, I think, probably the real highlight of an amazing country with all its diversity and the Commonwealth and the incredible show of drones making a, a, a huge whale above Windsor Castle. Wonderful. We are blessed, aren't we? And as well for us in Pershaw, an incredible weekend because we used for the first time our new pipe organ at our services in the Abbey, our usual 1030 Eucharist, and then an amazing evensong, especially for the coronation, which I'm told, because I couldn't be there, was absolutely packed. And the new organ playing and the choir singing Zadok the Priest. Amazing. The Poet Laureate wrote a, a poem for, as you would expect, the coronation, although he's the only po uh, Poet Laureate who's been able to do it, because we don't have coronations that often. It's a wonderful, wonderful poem for the, an unexpected guest looking at the coronation from the view of somebody who's perhaps ordinary, um, who's been invited. If you get a chance, read it. It's called An Unexpected Guest by Simon Arbitage. But there's a, a sentence in here which for me really brought together the whole of our weekend. It says, but the music's the thing, a choir transmuting psalms into sonorous light, the cavernous sleepwalking dreams of the organ making the air vibrate, chords coming up through the soles of the feet. So as we celebrate the coronation, we also celebrate those sonorous tones of the choir and the organ. Quite an incredible weekend. And we have to thank God that we can have this weekend, that we can bring the nation together, that our nation can hopefully show the world what it is to be at peace, to love, to celebrate. And let's face it, to protest if we need to. That's the wonder of what we've seen. And it is amazing that we now have a crown king and a crown queen to lead us together in this wonderful, wonderful land of ours. So we have to end by saying, God save the King.